Oh, hello again. Um, sorry for disappearing like that. Um, where was I again? So yeah, I've talked a bit about uh, building settlers and whatnot, uh, slaving up to the workers. That's where I was. Worker 10 can just put up, start doing a plantation now, so it'd be 95, 6, 7, 8, and it actually finished on 99. Um, so obviously I'd have two less turns of working in improved sugar. But I wouldn't need to use workers 2 and 6 for anything else. Like They would be free to improve the horse, to farm. Uh, to chop a, f a forest. There's a few choices. I actually think that it's not unreasonable now to only use one worker to improve the sugar. Because if I were to use all three, that would be quite a delay on improving the horse. Because I would have to I'd finish on 97. Then 98, they'd move, one would move on to the and then 99 I'd start improving the horse. I don't know how long it would take for me to do that. So actually, I'm going to move work this worker down. I'm going to, I'm basically, I'm going to just suck it up. There's always the potential. Well, actually, there's no road on that sheep, so I'm not worried about an axe. Um, I'm going to move the... Uh, Commodore's already played this turn. He already knows there's a spear there. So I'm just going to move it up. He, he probably won't do anything again if he's not done any, done anything yet. Um, I'll, I'll actually, I'll leave that for a turn. The work, the warrior over here is, let's be fair, completely irrelevant now for pretty much anything. Um, I mean, I've even got to walk it past an axe. Is there anywhere safe I can put this work, this warrior now? Is there anything useful it can do? Um, check out this barb city but I'll see that in the um, event log there's literally nothing else it can do other than maybe act as a sentry around here between the three and see what happens that that might be a worth that's probably the best use of that warrior to be totally honest that's what I'm gonna go for I'm gonna move up and just scout out um, finishing this fort I'll go with this and see what happens I would normally just, if this was a single player game, I'd just use control A and all the automated um, worker jobs would occur, but that's not a good thing, generally, so yeah. Move the workboat down, I'll improve the, I can imp yeah, improve the whale next turn. The borders will pop, end of turn, what is it, 104, so again, I want to workboat on the whale, 100. On a end of turn 104, so end of turn 103. So I need to finish a workboat, end of turn 102 in Say Baron again, or end of turn 103 in Do Not Die. Um, so that's choices. So I said the choice between the workboat and the mausoleum. If I were to swap over to a workboat, rather than that, which makes sense because there's no barracks here. Um, is there any difficulty in doing this? Two, three, four, yeah. Um, I will get, by the turn that this city grows, there will be six hammers in the, into a work so that's not a problem, so if I, if I grow I mean, if I work the cottage on 95, 96, the sheep on 97 and 98, then on 9, ten. actually, no, I wouldn't quite be able to build it. I would actually, I would have to slave the workboat again and overflow out, but, so, 95, 6, 7, and end of 98 it would grow, 99, 100, 101. would be at 20. So I would whip it and still work the the mine. Would be 55. So I'd overflow out the 25 hammers again. So actually if I were to do that, to build this workboat and then whip it on turn 102 
I think 102, 103 it's there, 104 it's there, 5 it does it, that's brilliant. Um, if I were to whip this work boat again, I could dump the overflow into the settler and finish it. Uh, well, no, I wouldn't finish it, I'd be four hammers from finishing it, so I could just... So, that, that would be fine. So I could finish the settler to end of turn 104, so I'd have the work boat and settler done. The city would be back down at size 4. But all this ignores the fact that I wouldn't have to work the scientists for all of this time. So I could actually... So I would have freedom to gain, to work more cot uh, another two cottages, or cottage, or two hamlets, whatever. Um, or I could work the plain sail for one turn, and I would get the... Um, actually, I'm already working a plain sail, so unless I were to mine a plain sail, another plain sail, um, or to grow one turn sooner, no, I won't. But no, no, there's, there's additional food there and scope for a bit more micro management. But I like that idea. Working, building this workboat. Turn 102 slaver. Turn 104 finish the the settler. That that's quite nice in my in my opinion. Do not die. I can then just build this, and this will take forever. <laughs> I mean, um. We've only got 500 turns to play this game. It's not going to take 445 turns to see that wonderful, but... Oh well, it's still funny. So yeah, that that's Do Not Die. Done. I'm still going to have to leave that worker. Worker 7. Well... I do need to make 5 hammers per... T uh, four, 5 food to grow this turn. I could move it... I could finish the farm, move on to the farm, and move it off the... Hamlet and onto the the coast. That would be perfectly fine and it would grow this turn. I could give over the sheep. Um that would grow Sea Baron again one turn earlier, which would mean that I would be able to finish the settler one turn earlier. Actually, so I'd finish it that the settler end in from Sea Baron again end of turn hundred and three. Um I'd also grow Air yeah, Conclusion this turn. I would but I'd lose one one turn of working a cottage in Sea Baron again. One turn of working a Hamlet. So I would actually go from a 3 to a 2 tile, that would move from a 2 to a 1 to a 1. So I'd, I'd lose 2 commerce this turn. Um, next turn... And I'd lo obviously th you lose the turn of growth on that tile. Yeah. Either way works. Th this I don't think there's necessarily a one right way to play this turn, to be honest. I've said I want to build that library, and I think I'm going to go for it. Maybe. How much overflow? Two. It's not a lot. Um, I would be better dump building the settler now, and then growing once the um, tile improvement is complete. Five. Yeah, I'd be better off doing it that way. Would be better off doing it that way. But now I'm looking at doing settlers in three different cities. One from Say Baron again, one from Got the Reset, one settler from here tomorrow big. As I said, I only need to do I've only got four more cities I want to settle. I don't want to set them all immediately. So it's something I need to consider again, is like do I even want to do these settlers? Maybe maybe it would be more worthwhile to build a worker. Four turn. Maybe it would. Just want to check the cost of this now. National Epic's 250. Um, the reason I'm doing that is if I do want to build the National Epic in here tomorrow big, then I'm looking at chopping all of the forests for it, and that's 90 hammers, so it's actually 160 base hammers that I need to find. Anyway, I'm gonna just going to... I might actually have to do horseback riding, and I, I arguably ought to start it this turn. Because I am really running out of stuff to build. Um, and I've tried perhaps to put it off a bit too long. Perhaps it would have been wiser to make the great scientist from Got the Reset, rather than wait for a library uh, from, say, Baron again to do that. Perhaps, that, perhaps I should have done that. Um, and I wouldn't be delaying tech as much. 
I'm a bit hesitant to do that to start tech now and I was a bit hesitant to do that before because I wouldn't grow the cottages as much but a hundred but I can get this done in two turns uh, it'll cost me 126 gold realistically waiting for an academy is not going to do does isn't worth all that much to me um, it's only worth about 15 or so because per turn so I, it's not so bad, actually, in my opinion. Not not so bad to start research now. It, it's not perfectly efficient, but then again, it, nothing's ever perfectly efficient. I'm also. I think I need to do that because I, I am at running out of things to build. I can't research currency now. Um, that would take me longer still uh, to save the gold to research that. And it would be riskier because so many people could have horseback riding. And I am building, trying to build spears in a lot of my cities now. Hmm. This isn't really. Hmm, not easy. But yeah, I've got to go with that plantation. I definitely think that's the right move. Um, I'm actually now going to be very... Oh, I want to say stupid, because that's probably the right term to use. I'm going to move one of the workers onto a forest. Now, growing this city is not a bad thing, but as I said, I, I kind of will have to slave it because there's very few tiles. Then again, if I'm not building... Then again. If I mine this hill, I can actually give the lumber mill over to the scarab ward, and so it's at least got a grass mine to work. Not too bad if I'm building a worker. It, makes, it only makes seven at size four. Only makes six food, one house, so seven production. Nine working the lumber mill. I mean, I, I just. But with the. I, I just need. I actually need to keep two workers in this city, to, uh, this area, to improve it. I actually want to double stack the workers on that tile, but I really don't want to run the risk because it's. I don't want to be that. that that's actually quite a stupid thing to do because it's in range of the immortal here I just don't want to do that I don't want to move the spear out and I don't feel comfortable move defending two workers with a single chariot and a chariot's also an aggressive move on my part because it threatens the axe I don't want to do that um, it won't matter when board, if borders pop and I take the horse either because fr I just because it's still a two move he'll still have the gems it'll still be a two move ability to do that. Um, then again, if I'm going to improve the horse, he's going to be able to do it with anything, so... I wonder if it's really... I don't think he'll do anything. Not now that we've got open borders. Because that's worth... It's not insignificant amount. To him, he, he gets seven... He's got seven commerce per turn from that. He might not be able to trade with anybody else. He might... No, he's got... A, he could have a trade route to Commodore. I want to see if he's got that. No, he's not offered that to anybody else. And there's no reason anyone else would reject it. So actually... I don't feel so bad. I'm tempted... I can't... Oh, God. Fucking damn it, this is not easy. Um, let's do the micro for this city. Um...
I wish Novice hadn't invalidated everything I'd done though. Uh, I wasn't planning on spending so long doing this turn. But, but because of that change, I've got to change direction with quite a lot of things now. Um, I Basically, I'm going to burn another work turn with almost anything I do. The only things I, I, would, I could do that wouldn't burn a work turn is moving the worker on to, to chop or mine, chop or mine one of these two hills, chop or mine this grass hill, um, or irrigate that plain style. Everything else burns it. Um, but if that, I, I should get that horse next turn. So if I'm going to improve that quickly, and I've got nothing I can use to defend with, like this spearman I'm using to cover against Commodore, not against Thoth. Commodore's more likely to attack me than Thoth is, even though Thoth is the greater danger long term. But because right, but right now we are working together with the trip, uh, with open borders. Um, I think I'm going to stack the workers on that tile. Thoth might look at it, have a chuckle, and think that's bad mi micromanagement, and he's probably right. Um, but I'm going to use one worker to um, chop that grassland, and another worker to pasture the horse. And then they can both move to road, and then potentially do the mines and hills, or whatever, I don't care. Or one of them can farm this grassland up here as well. I, d I don't give a fuck, one of the two. Um, the issue though is I'd, I'd be chopping a grassland forest. Not that, what can I chop it into? There's nothing. Um, I don't even really want to, if, even if I could chop it into a stable, I don't really want to do that because I'm not going to build any horse archers in this city very uh, right now, so I'm not that concerned about the chop. I'd actually rather keep the chop. In fact, what someone might say is that why did I even move a worker here and leave it uncovered? I could have moved it onto the archer if I was going to improve the horse next turn with it. But it's that I want to road that tile so that I can mine the hill. Because um, that's a safe-ish. I mean, that's a tile that threaten, that can threaten to do quite a lot of things. Um, like move down to here tomorrow big and threatens to attack the Scarrow Ward. So I want that city unforested uh, pretty quickly. But I don't want to move straight onto it because it's just because there's a road there. But what am I going to do? I think I'm going to stack. I'm going to stack the workers, but I'll come back to that. Worker 7, um, I think I'm going to bite the bullet here and actually just finish the farm. And actually grow one turn sooner here. And not generate the, the commerce. I can still get a horse back riding in two turns. That's very important that I keep an eye on that. This worker, I've said before, moves on to the Plains Hill and mines. This worker... ...chops and then stops. I can get the gold hook 97 with one worker, leaving me with three workers doing naff all. Um, not many choices there, to be honest. Worker 8, what to do? I need to get the roads done, but it, do I need to get them done right now? That work is now completely out of position to do pretty much anything. Not sure the right choices here. This spear, I can once this sugar's done. I don't care. This spear can come down. So I need one more spear to defend this. The question mark. Um, I 
I'd be better off building the, to collect the spirit here tomorrow big. Because it's got so much food and it can continue to grow. I've got the reset, can't do anything until I get iron work really. It's just too slow now so it can build the settler. Um, do I want to build a worker? Probably not. If I build another spear. With those two settlers, that'll be enough. Two settlers. Say Baron again, got the reset. We do that. Um... I think Thoth might leave that immortal where it is. Because he can scout pretty much everything with that. What am I doing with this worker then? Because that worker is just out of position. Just completely out of position now. Um, I might best roading where it is. Road, road, move, road, road. Move, finish, road, move that, road, move that, yeah, whatever. Might be best just roading straight down. Well, not straight down, but these. Um, basically, the turn that the road, the final road is finished, there's already set there on that tile. But it doesn't make any difference because of the sodding uh, forests and everything, then it can move down. Um, worker, this worker is basically going to do that plantation and then move up so five six seven eight nine then a hundred here six move seven eight five six move on seven eight nine move on hundred move on hundred and two hundred yeah so there's, then I'll have both workers in this area f able to road down so actually I think I'm gonna do that to road the two workers that I've got two and six are gonna they're gonna be busy at the scarab ward they can't do anything else Raisha Donga that worker nine is r mining that hill that's done for when it grows to size nine and then it's like that worker's free got nothing to do so I can use that to finish to carry on cottaging or do whatever I've got the reset I've got four workers here doing various things um, and they are going to be done, what is it, 95, 96, 97, oh, and 97, I'm going to waste so many worker turns on 97, there's nothing I can do about it, they are going to be wasted. Um, yeah, so around that turn 100 they're going to be finished, improving um, around the, well no, between 100 and 102, it depends how I do it, they're going to be finished improving a fair few tiles. Um, worker 7 is complete anyway, but... I might want a couple more workers, like two more workers. Um, I was considering building them at ARAM collusion, but I'm going to build that spear first. Or I'll build it this turn to grow, um, and I'll work. Next turn I'll, I'll move off the coast and onto the two um, mine and hamlet. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Dump the overflow now, do that. Those workers can move their way down. Or the workers here can move their way around, like down this way and around. There's different choices in the matter. But it's the moment I get iron working, the turn I get iron working, I want, like th I want a couple of workers ready to improve that banana. That's going to be another issue it entirely. But I'm going to road down this because there's no other good short-term uses of this worker. Don't get me wrong, I could use it to road the banana and chop another forest for God knows what. But I'm going to road down and use worker 8 and worker 10 to road for these two cities. Um, this city can be roaded from this side if I go for it soon. I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to go for these. I, I've got to consider when to get these two off, as I said last turn. Um, so I'll use 8 and 9 to road. Settler from Sea Baron again. Settler from Got the Reset. They, those will be both cities. Here's my big does a, another spear. It's two spears, two um, archers. Thoth wants to come with horse archers to kill those two cities. He's welcome because there's no way I can really hold them any other way. Um, I'll road, road down here and then a road through here. 
Even if I don't settle this place, I need it eroded and potentially a sentry on it. Like, just a, a warrior. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So, road with him. Yeah, I said worker two. Um, I'm going to stack them. Actually, no. I'm going to give up on holding that tile now. This hill. With the, ar the archer, I'm going to promote to city defense. Move into the city. Move the spear out. Is that the right move? Um, 70, 90, def yeah, I'm going to go with that. There's no other really safe way to do it. I'm going to double stack the workers. And that's pretty much it. Now, it's not... As I said, this was not an easy turn to play. I don't think, and there's no way I can claim that I have played it perfectly, because I've had to work out a lot of strategy very quickly. I'm going to go with horseback riding now. I'm still number one in soldiers. Still number one in soldiers. I haven't finished a bunch of barracks and whatnot and grown and all that stuff, but realistically I am starting to feel a bit weaker in particular areas. Not if it's lost units or slaved or something. Fucking hell, Commodore, you can lay off the power, you don't need that many units. That crop yield's getting very tight at the top. Again, you can see whilst Commodore's m been building units, he's not been building settlers and workers, everyone else has, so you can see them start to catch up there. And well, them full in a way. I also think the lack of space is perhaps hurting Commodore quite a lot. The sell the new city. Sheep's not improved that, so this area is being fought over quite closely. Oh, do I go for horseback riding? I'm just, I'm not the last person to play this turn. Scooter is again, but he rolled the turn eight hours ago. I, I don't blame somebody for, the, for not playing the turn in the first eight hours. It, we play with a 24-hour time, and people are entitled to use all of it. Um, but do I do? I don't want to hit enter in case he, he join, he jumps in quickly and plays it place the turn. I don't want to do I don't want to research horseback riding. I don't want to research it. Because I don't want to build fucking horse I just don't want to leave a horse archer in every single city queue and build them because I'm not gonna use them. I won't I, I won't use that many rather. I'd I'd use thirty. A stack of thirty I'd kill somebody straight up but um, but six, seven horse archers they don't do anything. Not offensively. They don't there's just not enough there. I really want currency, but I can't afford it. I really want to get currency. Just look at some maths now. If I make 130 base, multiply it by 1.2. It's 156, so it's that shows pretty much I am Bob on four turns worth of research there to do that. If I save gold for two turns, Actually, I might not even need to do it quite for two turns. Um, one turn might be enough. Two turns is to play safe, but... I do that, I get the gold hooked up and I work that. Um, I'm working the whales. Whale, whatever. Working the extra, co the extra cottage here. Um, I might be able to get it at 90. Yeah. Turn of like three turns 100 and one turn of 90. Which is 53. Um... 
So I would need an, something in the region of exactly of 200, 240 gold. I mean, it's risky. It's very risky. I don't think I could do it. Um, and it's possible. If I even it's like even just spending one turn now putting beakers into currency, I'd rather go for currency. I would rather run this risk now. Because horse archers, it's it's to catch twenty two. I can get horseback riding, and I can use it to threaten people, as in make them back off because they will not get anything. But I'm not really that concerned about people attacking me. Not novice. He's built. He's not building units. Thoth now is shown. Kind of wants peace. Uh, actually, Commodore now is a threat to me. It's got to be said, Commodore is now a threat. But I don't see him coming through with a shitload of units right now. And then again, it's Thoth back down there. Thoth and Novice. So, I, I can get it and tell him, that, oh yeah, you're number one power. He's still, he's still building military, he's still doing it. But if I don't use it aggressively, or don't use it to hold land, which I don't want to settle right now anyway, because it will bankrupt me, um... I don't. I just don't want to go and attack that because there's nothing there that's useful to build for me. Get currency. I can at least build wealth in a city or two for a turn. Uh, so that's not too bad. Or I can build a market in a couple of cities that 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 would definitely make sense. Don't really want to build a market in say the Scarab Ward or Do Not Die, but. I wouldn't mind building a market in Aram Collusion. I'd build a library in Andal Carry and Work Scientist, so that doesn't bother me too much. But I would also, Andal Carry is a very good city to build um, wealth in because there's fuck all else built there. Um, yeah, very much fuck all else to build to build there. Wealth's perfectly fine there. Say Baron again, that's. That's actually useful, doing the little things that I need it to do. Um, and also getting currency means I've got another set of trade routes. That's eight commerce. It's not much, but it, it adds up. So I'm going to save gold for this turn. I'm going to save gold for this turn. Uh, I'm going to research currency, and I'm actually going to start research next turn. So I'd, I'd get it three turns later than horseback riding, but I think it's going to be worth it. Not, yes, I'm losing out on the academy beakers, but the trade routes will make up for it, as well as the ability to build wealth for a few more turns and the ability to build markets. Much better to do that than to build obsolete um, ancient arid junk to inflate my power that's already overly inflated. So that's what I'm going to do. That's that's basically me deciding um, just to do it because I don't want to build. Just going on a gut feeling to do that. The other, th other thing is that I'm happier to settle these two cities if I've got currency because they do produce an extra com. It's not much; it's just an extra commerce in each city. But there's not much that I need to build in either of these two. It's just again, it's 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 a barracks and a granary. Arguably, arguably, I don't even need the granary in one of these cities. In the question uh, exclamation mark because if I only grow it to size, if I only grow it to size four. What's the point? I only need it takes twenty two food to grow to size two no matter what you do. So I'm only saving um eleven uh, no no I'm only, I'm only saving uh, so yeah, only saving eleven twelve plus the only saving thirty six food. It's, well I suppose it's not too bad. It's it's like nine turns longer working to the farm and pasture but some I do because I, I I'd build the granary. I would build the granary because I'd, I'd build it later on anyway. I've got the forests in place. I can chop them. It only cost me in worker turns really, and the, the opportunity cost of putting those forests into something else. But I've, I can put one forest into a barracks and two forests into the granary. The rest it can just build wealth. It can literally build wealth apart from when I'm building um, the chops land into the chops land into that, and they can just build wealth. These cities can until they. 
yeah, build wealth until they hit like size. This city hits size four, and makes twelve hammers per turn, and then it can just build catapults and whatnot. Just junk type, junk like you know. So you just need to mass produce. This one, yeah, again, it plants. There's no forests there for it to use. Um, so I would just have to grow it to size two, whip, grow it to size two, and then just build a granary the hard way, and then a barracks the hard way. Or maybe I just whip the sodding barracks, I don't know, I don't care. Actually, no. That's a fucking catch-22, um, isn't it? Um, I plant this city, I chop in one for a barracks. No, I chop in two immediately for the granary, and I don't... Oh, fucking hell, that's a horrible question. Actually. Um, yeah, it's because there's no food there on the inner ring anyway. There's nothing for it to work. Honestly, what? Actually, is this whole dot map even worthwhile? Yeah, as people can see, the more I look at this, the more I hate this land with a passion. Like, colon. That, that city... No, there's not really much I can do about that. I need a city in this area because of the wheat. I can plant a city for the wheat and the sheep, but there's enough all sit. As I said, there's nothing for it to work around there. And the other one is to... I mean, the ideal city location would actually be something like that. If all of these peaks were sodding hills, there'd be six extra hills there. As it is, it'd only have four grass hills and a plains hill. Nothing. Yeah, I'm just going to completely reevaluate this actually because I don't know what I want to do with this. It is so. I might. I might not even. Actually, looking at that question mark city, I don't even know if I'm going to settle it. There's just. There's just too much up in the air right now for me to think about. Anyway, yeah, that, that's the turn. I'll leave it with, uh, with you guys to consider that there's not always a straightforward answer and a lot of the time there's not even a right answer there's just varying degrees of it's fucking horrible so have a good weekend